at the Disney's Beach Club Resort uh, to try out Cape May Cafe for breakfast. So looking forward to this. It's been a while since I've been to Cape May Cafe. So return, coming back again to try it out. It has recently returned back to a character dining experience. And so they have um, Mickey and friends all dressed up in their kind of beach wear. So I'm excited to see them. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, wonderful breakfast. I'll show you all the options that they have uh, that's included in, in, the, in the character dining um, breakfast meal. And I hope you guys enjoy coming along with me today. Cape May Cafe is a very popular spot for breakfast in the morning, especially for families. Uh, definitely because it is a character dining experience. I've, but the food is also really good. So looking forward to this. Pretty restaurant. I love all the pink poinsettias too. All the beach decor. I already got to meet Minnie and Daisy's coming around. So fun in here. Love this. Hello, Miss Daisy. You're looking so beautiful today. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Cape May Cafe breakfast is open from 7.30 to 11.30 a.m. and dining reservations are highly recommended. This character dining breakfast is served as an all-you-care-to-eat buffet. When you're seated at your table, they bring out the salted caramel beach buns and you can order a variety of beverages as well, including coffee, soda, tea, and juice, including pog juice, which is a combination of pineapple, orange, and guava juice, and one of our family favorites. The buffet offerings include an assortment of fruits, oatmeal and grits, Mickey and Minnie waffles, and French toast, as well as cheddar biscuits and gravy, scrambled eggs, bacon and sausage, omelet and carving stations, and other favorites for kids, including chocolate chip pancakes and potato barrels or tater tots. Up to your table, they bring you out these salted, these are called the salted beach buns. They look absolutely amazing with this really yummy vanilla cream sauce. I also get, you can get coffee, water, juices, and they bring you awesome syrup for your pancakes. I'm so excited. Let's go. Buffet, they've got us some tofu vegetables, breakfast potatoes, seasonal vegetables, poached eggs with potato hash. Oh, those look really good. And that comes with hollandaise sauce, sausages, smoked bacon, scrambled eggs, steak and eggs and flour tortillas, and all the fixings. Got also got a grits and cheese and pinho and assorted fruit, overnight oats in like little containers, ambrosia salad, and strawberry yogurt, vanilla yogurt, and fixings to put on top of your yogurt. And these are the Parker House Rolls. You can get a cranberry mayonnaise, as well as your grain mustard with the smoked ham. That looks so delicious. You'll see scrambled eggs, more bacon, more sausage, Again, those breakfast potatoes, those look really good. But we got, got, oh my goodness, biscuits with homemade sausage gravy, French toast, chocolate chip pancakes, and the iconic Mickey waffles. You're making, oh my goodness. <laughs> Everything looks so good. They're making fresh to order crepes over here. Oh my goodness, those look amazing with a chocolate drizzle on top. And then they have a berry sauce and whipped cream. They've also got like a little kid station with quick little little tater tots, potato puffs, chocolate chip, miniature chocolate chip pancakes, and little mini Mickey waffles over here as well. Oh, mini, mini and Mickey waffles. I love it. My first plate, I got a mini mouse waffle, some chocolate chip pancakes, the biscuits and gravy. These are those cheddar biscuits. Oh, so good. Uh, the, the nice, ha like hash browns. They're really look like they have a nice char or a nice crisp to them. 
and some sausage and bacon and some scrambled eggs. And they also bring out a coffee, a juice, tea, um, and I, they also have a passion, passion fruit or guava juice here, pog juice, which is really nice. Gotta get some pog juice while I'm here. All right, time for some syrup. Oh. Deliciousness. <laughs> Those cheddar biscuits with gravy are to die for. They're wonderfully like cheesy and almost like garlicky biscuits. If you if you've been to like Red Lobster, think about like Red Lobster biscuits. Maybe like a little bit better. They're smaller. Oh, so good with the grape with the sausage gravy on top. Mm, those are delicious. Everything I've tasted so far has been really good. So let's get ready for round two. Go and try these sticky buns with this vanilla caramel sauce, <laughs> vanilla anglaise sauce. Let's try this. Looks really, really good. All right, sticky buns, here we go. Mm. Oh my goodness, these are really good. So imagine like cinnamon roll. Yeah, the, the buns have a nice like cinnamon roll like flavor to them, lots of cinnamon. And then they have this, that, with that vanilla cream sauce on top. Oh, that is really, really nice. And then the little, they've got like these little toppings of like little, I'm not sure if it's, little crisp like brown sugar toppings on there but kind of gives it a little bit of crispness and brown sugar flavor oh, and like maybe like a little bit of little bits of I'm not sure if it's nuts or if it's like little brown sugar nuggets so so good that's a delicious like delicious sweet treat I really like those two I this, this round I got some of the more I guess you would say maybe adult more adult <laughs> food options off the buffet so we have the roasted seasonal vegetable right now is asparagus and they have this potato hash with a poached egg on top and hollandaise. So excited for this. I love Eggs Benedict. And then we have a the fresh carving station. They have ham over there and a nice um, nice whole grain mustard and then some fresh fruit. This is these steak and eggs and it's got peppers inside and some like little bits of little bits of like peppers and tomatoes. And then they are making fresh fresh made crepes. You can watch them making them and they also come with cream and this strawberry melba sauce, which looks really good. I can't, can't wait to try that. I think it looks really good. All right, so that ham from the carving station was amazingly tender and delicious and flavorful with that whole grain mustard. Loved, loved that. Um, the, the asparagus is perfectly cooked. It's got a nice, nice crispness or a nice, nice flavor to it. Um, yeah, so far, so far, so good. Getting ready to get into the Eggs Benedict. And the crepes, we'll see, keep you posted on how those are. I'm gonna cut into this coach day. If it is what I hope it is. Oh, look. Okay, so inside, it's a, oh, it's very perfectly poached egg. Not just a little bit runny. Oh, that's wonderful. And this kind of potato hash on the bottom, it's got like peppers in it and stuff too. Ooh, I'm excited to try this. Mr. Donald. I think they're dancing. They're doing some beach dancing over here. <laughs> oh, they're doing a little kids parade. Oh, that's adorable. It's like surfing. <laughs> Donald's teaching him how to surf. <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> Minnie's over here teaching them how to how to surf. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. Wait <Wipe> out. <laughs> this is really cute. Back to the beach. There goes Goofy over there. You see the characters is kind of in a different part of the restaurant. <laughs> Goofy looks so tall. And his little beach short and beach hat. That's awesome. <laughs> Hello again, Miss Minnie. All right, now I'm gonna get into this crepe. It's got a really nice 
chocolate sauce on top. Mm. See if there's any filling. It looks like just a plain crepe with the kind of the chocolate drizzle on top. But then they also give you the berry, that berry topping and cream if you wanted to add toppings to your crepe. Let's try this out. That looks really good. The crepe is really nice and light and fluffy. Um, not a whole, like not a lot of flavor, but the chocolate drizzle was pretty good. But I love that strawberry melba sauce. I would put that on my pancakes. I would put that on my French toast. I would put that on, on my waffles. I put that on everything. That was amazing. So loved that. Uh, the crepe is pretty good. So I think my favorite of all of the, the sweet treats is probably the, the mini waffles. Those were really good. I haven't gone back for the French toast yet. I'll have to try that next. Um, and the eggs benedict um, dish was, was okay. The poached egg was really nice, perfectly cooked. Um, but the hash on the bottom, not my favorite. Just not a lot of not a lot of flavor going on there. Um, but overall, everything that I've tried so far has been really, really good. So, so far, so good. <laughs> hey, Donald. Donald's number one, right? <laughs> You're my son's favorite, though, by the way. <laughs> Say hi to my son. Thank you. That's great. Went back for some of the items that I missed before. So we've got the French toast, and I put some of that stuff, that berry melba sauce on it. And I, my server said that you would have to try the tater tots. You know, those are kind of in the kids, little kids area, but she said that they're really good. These are those those cheddar biscuits again. Uh, last time I had it as a as kind of biscuits and gravy. This time I was just gonna try it by itself. And also this ambrosia salad. I wanted to try that out too. And it's more bacon. Daisy, oh, you look so stylish. Beautiful. <laughs> Have you seen Donald? Is he around here too? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I know you love Donald. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Enjoyed this. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Hey everyone, so quick recap after my dining experience at Cape May Cafe for breakfast. Hope you guys enjoyed that review. Uh, I was really, really pleased with the breakfast and all of the characters. The characters came around multiple times, um, so that was wonderful. Even though it was back to a buffet style and instead of, you know, instead of the family style, um, really enjoyed it. Didn't feel like I missed out on anything. I think even if you were there with your kids, went up to the buffet multiple times, the characters come around so often. Um, and honestly, the food was on par with some of the better like buffet breakfast food I've had here at Disney World. So um, they're doing a wonderful job there. My favorites were, were definitely those, those Minnie and Mickey waffles uh, with the syrup and that, that berry melba sauce. Oh my goodness, put that on everything. Um, other favorites, definitely bacon, the eggs, everything, they were doing a really good job with those as well. The crepes were pretty good. Um, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed the sausage and the bacon, um, the eggs. Um, I think the only, the, only, the only ones that were maybe not, not so much favorites for me were maybe the, the eggs benedict. It's just the hash brown base wasn't really doing it for me. Um, but everything else, oh, and, oh my goodness, and that ham, that fresh carved ham station, that ham was so delicious. Uh, so that was my favorite of the meats, definitely. Um, yeah, but they're just honestly doing a great job. Oh, oh my goodness, and the beach buns. Those were fantastic. If you like cinnamon, cinnamon bread or cinnamon buns, those were wonderful. Um, so really, really enjoyed that. Highly recommend. If you haven't been over to the Beach Club, if you're staying at the Beach Club, get it. Try to get our dining reservation at Cape May Cafe. Um, they, they're a little bit more difficult to come by for breakfast. It's a, definitely a popular option for, for families whenever you're coming uh, for character for character dining experiences, um, but highly recommend it. It was really, really good. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. That really helps us out. We look forward to sharing more dining reviews with you. Uh, this was, we've been here to Cape May Cafe for dinner. Uh, it's been a while since we were here for breakfast, so it was nice to see that they're they're doing a great job here. Really enjoyed it. Uh, if you're if you're going to, if you have plans to go to Epcot or you're staying at the Beach Club, highly recommend getting a reservation at Cape May Cafe. Uh, it's wonderful. And 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 shout a shout out to my server, Elizabeth. Uh, she she took fantastic care of me. It was so much fun visiting with her since I was just there all by myself. I got to got to visit with her quite a bit, and that was she was she took great care of me. So thank you, Elizabeth, if you're watching this. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and uh, I hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed making it. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.